we did. We, we took psilocybin, we began growing the raw mushrooms. Um, we noticed that there was an extremely high variability between different flushes, different species, different strains, um, um, actually more than what was reported on, on the internet and in, and in what, what little literature there was. So applying extraction, purification, standardization technologies in order to arrive at a pharmaceutical grade, highly standardized dose was even more important. And, uh, and that's what we did. So over the last um, little while, we've you know, developed these technologies, implemented them, and we've actually arrived at the point where we've produced standardized pharmaceutical grade clinical trial drug candidates, um, mm. which are set to be entered into human clinical trials. Something like the entourage effect, right? The entourage effect being the idea that the whole complement of naturally occurring compounds in the magic mushroom can provide some kind of benefit over just the single compound primary metabolite in this, in the case of magic mushrooms, psilocybin. Um, you know, getting these th these trials up and running um, down at the University of California, San Francisco. That that that's what has me by far the most excited. Not only because they'll be the first um, uh, natural psychedelic trials, but also we actually have uh, one of our drug candidates from the magic mushroom is a compound that has never been put into any psychedelic trial before, natural or synthetic. Mm. Um, it's a compound that we think um, has quite a few therapeutic potential advantages compared to psilocybin. We think that it might be faster acting. We think it, that it might have um, lower side effects, especially gastrointestinal side effects. We think we might be able to provide a more consistent and stable dose with it. And what we found out is that synthetic manufacturing companies you know, they aren't able to make this compound in a stable, high, high enough yield form. And for that reason, it just has kind of flown under the radar forever. Um, and, but since we're a natural company and we saw all the compounds in the, in the magic mushroom, we immediately identified this compound as a, as a, promising, as a promising candidate. We're administering that compound orally and also sublingually because... Hmm. Again, we might get further benefits in terms of faster uptake. It can go, it goes right into the bloodstream through the oral mucosa. Um, and also this compound that we've identified lends itself much better to a sublingual delivery than, um, th than psilocybin does. What